The Penang South Reclamation Project off the southern coast of Penang Island is crucial for the economic transformation of the state in the future. Chief Minister Chao Kon Yao said they have great plans for the three man-made islands, Island A, B and C. Chao said Island A will be seen as a continuation and expansion of the Bayan Lepas Free Industrial Zone, while Island B will be a playground for city planners and architects to give their best design with a tram system and green spaces. Island C is meant for mixed development projects. In an exclusive interview with The Star recently, Chow said the Penang government was also answerable to the people on social and economic sustainability. Penang is a growing state. Although population figures is also part of the controversy. Yeah. But looking at 1980 Penang to uh, 2020 Penang, the population has doubled from a few hundred mm. to now 1.8. And in another 10, 20 years, we will go beyond 2.3, 2.5. All this population needs job, needs uh, social yeah. amenity, needs housing, and you must cater to all these needs <laughs> on top of the environment, of course. So we must have a, a balance while making sure that we protect the env environmental sustainability. Mm. They must be focused also mm. on growing our economy ensuring social cohesiveness in our society, mm. social group, social development program, so that uh, it is a holistic and balanced group. That's what we have been talking about. Mm. We may, some project may compromise environment, which we don't deny all along, but we are taking a more balanced approach that as a government, mm. we have responsibility to a lot of citizens, yeah. not to a few citizens. Yeah. It was earlier reported that the National Physical Planning Council had agreed to the implementation of the project, provided that an 18 point of advice is adhered. This land bank is expected to bring in more than 70 billion ringgit, of which 46 billion ringgit will be used to fund the Penang Transport Master Plan.